Hier im Fotostudio Schanzenbach in Nürnberg bekommen Camilla und Verena heute die Gelegenheit, mit einem professionellen Fotografen zusammenzuarbeiten. Du erfährst alles über das Wortfeld Parts of the Body, also Körperteile. Und im Grammatikteil schauen wir uns an, wie du den Plural bildest. Im Lerntipp erfährst du, wie du mit englischen Wörtern in der deutschen Sprache umgehst. Camilla, what's going to happen here today? Well, firstly, Verena's going to get the chance to have both her hair and makeup done professionally. Then she'll take part in a photo shooting. And finally, she'll get to choose her favorite photograph and take it home with her. So, Verena, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Sure. Okay, so Verena, now we have Innes and she's our professional makeup artist okay. and she's going to make you look even more beautiful than you already are. So first thing that we're doing is we're putting a foundation onto Verena's face and this just makes sure that her skin is nice and smooth. And Innes is using a sponge to put this onto Verena's face. So now, because we're doing under the eyes, Verena needs to look up. Okay, so we're almost finished with Verena's makeup. The very last thing Ines needs to do is to put some of this blusher onto her cheeks here. Nachdem Verena jetzt fertig geschminkt ist, kann das Fotoshooting mit Karl-Heinz Schanzenbach ja gleich beginnen. Du solltest aber wieder genau aufpassen, denn danach gibt es zwei Fragen zu klären. Erstens. Camilla macht ein gelbes Kreuz auf den Boden für Verena. Wofür ist das? Und zweitens, während des Shootings müssen Verena und Camilla eine kurze Pause einlegen, denn es gibt ein kleines technisches Problem. Welches Problem tritt auf? Okay, so Verena, um, Ines has just touched up your makeup. So are you ready to go? Yeah. Ready to begin the photo shoot? Yeah. Perfect. First thing I'm going to do is to just make a cross on the floor and that will just help you know where to stand when Carl is okay. taking your photos. And we need to do it about here. And so if you're unsure at all where to stand, then that's always your spot. Okay, okay, so if you can move on to the cross for me, please. Good, okay. Not the most exciting pose in the world, so let's move you around a little bit. The first thing we should do is with your whole body, if you just turn to the right. Perfect. Um, now, if you can bring your feet a little bit closer together, good and make sure that your head is always turned in this direction. Okay. And with your eyes, if you just look up into the light. Good, I think we're ready for our first couple of photos. Okay, good. So now let's try with your right hand. Yeah. If you put that onto your hip there, so onto your hips, super, good. Yeah, both hands onto your hips. And with your mouth, uh -huh, if you just relax your mouth, uh -huh, so it's nice and natural, good. Okay, so with your mouth this time, you can open it wider, big smile so we can see <laughs> your lovely teeth, good. And if this time you can relax both your hands, they're just keep them by your sides there, good. Okay, and if you just relax for a second, our flashlight just needs to reload for a couple of seconds okay. and then we can... 
begin again with some more poses. Great. Okay, so ready to go again. So yeah. again, your whole body to the sides. And with your left knee, if you just bend that a little bit forward, good. And um, with your left hand, if you put it on the back of your head, good. Okay, so you can put your left hand back onto your hip. Okay. Good. And you can straighten your left knee. Uh -huh. And with your feet, you can bring them really close together now. Good. And if you don't look too high with the, your eyes, if you bring them down a little bit. Perfect. And move both shoulders back a little bit. So you're standing nice and tall. Perfect, good. Okay, let's try some where we can see your face a bit better. So if you tuck your hair behind your ears, uh -huh, if you do it behind both ears, perfect. And then we can just see your face a little bit better. So again, looking into the light. Perfect, Vena. I think that was the winning shot. <laughs> you have finished your show photo shoot. Well done. Good. <laughs> Ja, wenn du genau zugehört hast, war es ja gar nicht so schwer, die Antworten auf die zwei Fragen zu finden. Die erste Frage war, Camilla klebt ein gelbes Kreuz auf den Boden. Wofür hilft dieses Kreuz beim Fotoshooting? Verena? Ja, also das Kreuz hat mir geholfen, damit ich mich orientieren konnte, wo ich stehe. Richtig. Camilla hat gesagt, it helps you to know where to stand. Die zweite Frage war, im Verlauf des Shootings gab es ein kleines technisches Problem. Verena, was ist denn da passiert? Ja, also der Blitz hat erst eine gewisse Zeit gebraucht, um sich wieder aufladen zu können. Richtig. Camilla hat gesagt, the flashlight needs to reload for a few seconds. Und mehr Aufgaben zum Hörverstehen findest du in unserem Online-Bereich. Okay, so with Verena's help here, I'm going to show you all the different parts of the body. And we're going to start at the top and work our way down. So the first thing I have to show you is hair. Next, we have eye and nose and mouth. And then if Verena gives us a big smile inside, we can see teeth. And teeth is an irregular word. The singular is tooth. So it's one tooth and many teeth. Next, we have chin. And if I move Verena's hair back a little bit, we can see ear. Then here, we lift our fringe, we have forehead. Altogether, this is her head and this is Verena's face. So we'll start to move away from the head. Next, we have neck. And we have shoulder. Here we have an arm and along the arm we have different parts. Here we have elbow. Then we have a hand. On the hand we have some fingers <laughs> and here we have a thumb. Okay, so if I could just turn Verena around for a second. Here we have a back. And if I turn you again, here we have stomach. Here we have hip. Then moving downwards, we have a leg. Knee. 
So here at the bottom we have another irregular word. We have one foot and two feet. And that is the different parts of the body. Viele der Nomen, die du gerade gehört hast, sind in der Pluralform aufgetaucht, also in der Mehrzahl. Die Mehrzahl im Englischen zu bilden, ist eigentlich ganz einfach. Du hängst einfach an das Nomen ein S an. Also zum Beispiel leg wird zu legs, I wird zu eyes. Achtung, endet das Wort auf einen Zischlaut, hängst du ES an. Auch die Aussprache ändert sich jetzt. Zum Beispiel Sandwich wird zu Sandwiches, Brush wird zu Brushes, Rose zu Roses oder Box zu Boxes. Einige Nomen bilden unregelmäßige Pluralformen. Manche davon hast du gerade gehört. Zum Beispiel Tooth wird zu Teeth oder Foot zu Feet. Diese Formen musst du einfach auswendig lernen. Mehr Informationen zur unregelmäßigen Pluralbildung und Übungen dazu findest du in unserem Online-Bereich. So, und jetzt bist du dran. Verena, du kennst dich ja jetzt schon gut mit den Teilen des Körpers aus, kannst sie alle benennen. Und das ist auch wichtig, denn jetzt sollst du Camilla die Anweisungen geben. Denn sie wird jetzt die Fotos schießen, sobald die Kamera soweit ist. Camilla, ist die Kamera ready? Just one more second. Okay. Yep, that's me. I'm done. Okay, right. So Verena is going to give the instructions. Mm -hmm. And would you please take the pictures? Yeah, of course. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. Okay, then touch your nose with your right hand, please. Okay. Right hand on nose. Can you take a picture? Yeah, of course. So just hold a second, Michael. Perfect. Okay. So, right. move your shoulder to your ear. Okay, I'll move my ear to the shoulder. Or, or so. both. No, you're <laughs> your shoulder to your ear there. Okay, and again, just hold it. Perfect. All right, okay. Okay, then put both of your hands to your hips. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. My Does hands. On your hips. On your mm -hmm. hips. My hands on the hips, okay, on my hips, okay. Like that? Okay, Good. another picture. <laughs> yep. Okay, right. hey, that's great. And so, I think the last thing, bend your knees, please. Okay. Like that? Yeah, that's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, hold it. Perfect. Good. Okay. okay. I think that's enough. Yep, so do I. Well done. Thank you. Wenn du dich ein bisschen umschaust, wirst du auch im Deutschen eine ganze Menge englischer Wörter finden. Zum Beispiel Eyeliner, Jeans oder Ketchup. Aber Vorsicht, du kannst von der deutschen Schreibweise auf keinen Fall auf die englische Schreibweise schließen. Vor allem Groß- und Kleinschreibungen sind natürlich völlig unterschiedlich. Manchmal gibt es auch gar keine Übereinstimmung zwischen einem deutschen und einem englischen Wort. Zum Beispiel das Wort Handy das im Englischen nicht verstanden wird. Hier musst du Mobile Phone oder Cell Phone sagen. This black and white one's quite nice, yeah, isn't it? It's good. They yeah, look really pretty in it. What, what do you think? That's nice yeah. too, isn't it? The, quite the like the colors. Yeah, yeah they're, they're really nice. Yeah. Oh, I like this one. Yeah. I think that's a really I nice like full. So, girls, what are you doing here? Well, we're just sitting and looking through Verena's pictures and she's deciding which one she likes the most. Yeah. And which one is it? I like this one the most. Oh yeah, it is very nice. Mm -hmm. But now, it's your turn to use your computer and do some more exercises online. online.